breather bag, test one. Welcome back to the channel. So I've been shipping fish for almost a month now, like three weeks, and I've been using primarily these breather bags. I've got Cordon, and then I've got this uh, other brand on eBay that I, I don't remember the name of. But every time I pack fish, I just can't help but think how flimsy these bags feel. And so that's what we're gonna test today. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, toss them around, figure something out. I'm also gonna put them in a box and uh, see if we can get one to pop in the box. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we'll figure something out. <laughs> Too bad I couldn't get going like 60. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're out in the garage to test these out. Oh, here's the other brand here, Long Life Breather Bags. Here we are, got a couple of these up here ready to go. And then we got the cordon one over here. And you know, they just feel real flimsy like, and you know, I just wanna see what it takes to uh, break one of these. All right, I threw that one down pretty hard. All right, let's try this again. Huh, I gotta say, I'm kinda surprised. Um, let's go for a toss, how about a toss? All right. Don't mind all the junk. Still pretty good. All right, let's take this little guy here. And, uh, hmm, they just, uh, kind of feel like bags of sand. That got it. <laughs> all right, so that's what it took. I had to pretty forcefully throw that down, but that's still pretty good, right? I mean, you gotta think, just toss them around fact that they hold up uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised I mean that's kind of what they're made for These UPS guys you know you never know what they're gonna do not bad it was the uh, long life that popped let's throw the uh, cordon breather bag the same way oh this one actually held up all right try it again all right here we go I'm really gonna do it this time Wow, you guys can hear that slap, right? Like, I'm throwing this pretty hard. All right, <laughs> All right there we go. Still got one more though. So we definitely had a good kind of pop there, but now it might just be the seal. It doesn't necessarily mean that cordon is stronger. It just meant that the seal popped before and I'm the one sealing these and I just might not be sealing it well enough. Cause this one, I'm throwing this one pretty hard. It's not popping yet. Now we'll give it a real good go. There. So yeah, the seal on the first one probably wasn't very good. This one here. I'll, uh, I'll take you in and show you how I seal these. All right, I've kind of taken over the spare bathroom here as my shipping place, uh, ship, fish packing, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So here we have a cordon breather bag as you can see well this is what's left over of one let's fill this up with water all right fill it up with water again and that's pretty much it a little bit extra just for good measure and that's it. Whoops. Get this out of the way. And that's it. When, what I'm actually going to do now, I probably should have done this first, but I'm going to go find a fish. We're going to bag one up. We're going to pack it. And we're going to see if we can get it to pop in the box. All right. We need to pick out a guinea pig here. Who is going to be our test fish for testing these bags the lime green endlers no celebes rainbow fish or white guppies nah 
We got some yellow rainbow fish and some rosy danios. I don't think so. Uh, maybe, maybe one of these trapdoor snails or these excellent endlers here. Mm, no, maybe some of these Bosmani rainbows or neon green ras. Oh, oh, I see the perfect fish here. We've got coolie loaches, pygmy quarries, feather fins in here. But I found a goldfish. We're going to use a goldfish as our test fish. Look at that. Okay, let's get them. We've got our bag ready here. Let's see if we can net this squirrely guy. Oh, 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 get, get in the net. Get in the net. Oh, oh, okay, got him. Plop him in the bag. Maybe. All right. Got him in the bag. We got our test fish. All we got to do is go seal this up, pack it in a box, and we'll be good to go. All right, we got our test pilot here. All I do is, oh, stay in the bag, dude. I know he, he's trying to get out. He knows what he's in for, but too bad. You're stuck, buddy. All right, now I'll get a box and we'll pack this up. So this is how you will receive a package from me, Styro Liner and then this recycled insulation here. So we're just gonna set Goldie on in here, our goldfish. Uh-oh, looks like he's pretty stressed out. Scales falling off already, but that's all right. Now, normally I would ship like a bag this size and a seven by seven by six, but I'm using a medium flat rate box here because that's the most common size that I ship out. We're gonna fill this up with insulation, put the top on, and we'll see how well it holds up. All right, we got all the insulation in here. See Goldie or Goldfish. Well, you can see a couple of his scales floating around in there. Not super tight, but just nice and snug. I like to make sure there's nothing up here on the edges. And we just throw the top piece on, like so, and tape it up. Oops. All right, so to be honest, I'm not too concerned about the durability of these breather bags. The key part is the durability of the box once it hits the post office. Now, boxes coming from me will have live fish stickers on them, but sometimes they just don't care and the boxes still get thrown around. So, now we're gonna test the durability of this box and hope that Goldie, our goldfish, does all right. back and it is the moment of truth obviously I need to sharpen my knife a little bit box is actually in pretty good condition considering Let's see how our goldfish is doing all right the bag is still intact uh, the goldfish is not <laughs> oh my gosh but the bag is still good if that was a real fish it'd still be alive I guarantee it all right folks what can I say we put it through the test the fish well the bag survived the fish didn't but the bags are a lot more durable than I thought they were so that makes me happy the boxes are pretty dang durable with those styro liners. So I hope this help puts your mind at ease. Shipping is only $15 on the website. If you spend over 150, shipping is free. 
There's always new fish coming and going, so be sure to bookmark it and check back often. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a lot of fun, and I'll see you on the next one. Breather bag, test one.